what's up what's up what's up my family my soul tribe come on in y'all let's talk about this person all right listen if you're getting this video on your screen right now then it is for you okay share this video thank you for your likes and subscribe so we can get the video out y'all whoever this wicked woman is this this evil manipulative wicked woman it's a female it's evidence that this person is doing something it's like some type of spell work that they're doing and i feel like if it's not an actual spell it's witchcraft what they're doing some type of manipulation but it's some type of wicked wicked woman and honestly you're dealing with a very sick individual like whoever this is and your energy that's and it's like this person could be looked at as bad news all right thank god that you're being protected your aura is being protected you better thank god right now virgo for a higher power because you're being covered protected from this person because you have no idea that they're like this like some of y'all get an indicator you know this person as bad news or people look at this person as bad news or every time they call you or come around you or something associated with them it's bad it's negative it's something this person can have a lot of enemies and it's because they create enemies because of how they live their life and also this is somebody who knows about tarot or is getting readings on you. And I'm hearing sirens right now because you need to be aware of whatever this is. Um, they could be getting readings on you to try to find out your weaknesses to keep you stuck, stagnant. I feel like whoever this is, and this could even be a, a karmic, a third party. Like it's whoever this is, is willing to do whatever to keep you separated from someone. It's some type of relationship that they want to separate you from. And I feel like the relationship is positive for you, but it make it cancels them out or something like that. This could even be a friend group or an ex-friend or something like that, a frenemy that people are not looking at like they're a good person or something like that. Like this person is not a good person. Like this person is very negative and very spiteful. They got a big ego. Like this could be somebody who thinks it's all about them. And this could also be somebody who is very promiscuous or something like that. I feel like when you see this person, you like, you need to put some clothes on or you doing too much or something like they're willing to do anything to get attention, to get noticed, to get seen, something like that. It's like they're, they'll do anything to win, to beat or to I don't know what the hell this is. It's like somebody is willing to do anything to keep you stuck. It's evidence of this. It's evidence that they'll do anything to get attention, to keep you away from this person or to keep you separated from a relationship. It's something like that. This person is jealous. They're a hater. Somebody is two-faced. I feel like to the point where it's almost like they wear a mask or they could wear makeup to hide who they are, something like that. But somebody is very two-faced, all right? And this could be like, you see how this person is really a darker complexion and they change their complexion and the way they look? Y'all, you tell me in the comments who the hell this is, but whoever this is, this person is sick. Somebody is literally getting readings, trying to find out your weaknesses or trying to keep tabs on you to find out what you're doing. Like, it's something here that they're doing to make sure that, I feel like they keep giving you bad news too or people are just looking at this person like they're bad news and this person willing to do anything for money. I don't know, if, are they a real prostitute or are they acting like one? Are they something that they doing with their body? I don't know. I don't know what you saw. Like what about this person? You could have saw these stockings, something. I don't know, but... It's something about this energy. And I feel like ugh, this energy is so dirty. Like, I don't like this energy. And it's like this person is sick, like mentally sick. Somebody is, they really got mental issues. Like this person. And then the, the length that they're willing to go is a new low to keep you away from a person, to make this person choose them. It's something that they're doing. And it has something to do with money too. It's like they're doing it all for the cash, all for the money. I heard for the cash or for the money. Oh my God, y'all. This is a mess. Like, honestly, let's get into this and see what this has to do with you. And Well, I know what it has to do with you because I'm looking at it and you need to know this. That's why it's here. You also need to know that your aura is being protected. 
for how long i don't know but i hopefully you're not just indulging with this person or it's not a friend somebody that you think is a friend but you're being told to use your intuition the truth discovery awaken and illumination like something is being illuminated to you for a reason and this is there again all right somebody is not who you think they are or it's not what you think and you got to be careful because somebody is using witchcraft to keep you away stuck afraid of them backing off of them or something like that something having to do with a person some kind of reconciliation maybe they don't want you to reconcile with somebody it's something like that I don't know if this person thinks you're two-faced or you're being two-faced in some kind of way. Whatever this is, it's just like this person right there in your energy. So let's see what's going on with, with this overall energy for Virgo. Like, what is this about, Spirit? What are you trying to do? Backstabbing. So somebody is deceiving you, playing mind games. They could be love bombing you, just popping up, telling you anything to get your attention. But this person is backstabbing you. So it's like you need to take what this person says as a grain of salt. I feel like somebody can tell some really good stories. It could be a feminine energy. Well, it is a woman because I already felt that. But here's the confirmation. So it's a female. This could be somebody who likes to wear black or something like that. I don't know what that had to do with anything. But somebody could have natural hair. They don't have to. But somebody. Y'all. What the heck is happening here? And I always tell y'all to, to protect your energy. Yes. Effed up over you. Somebody all in their head about you. It's like they're willing to do anything to keep you, block you, something like that. It's whatever. Like you living in their mind rent free. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. It's like they're obsessed with blocking you or getting in the way. And you see this head, right? This person definitely got some pieces missing. Like y'all think it's a joke. Like somebody here is nuts. Okay. They nuts. And it's like you find out when you, I don't know, like if you don't do what they want you to do, if you say no or you back off of them or whatever, then all hell breaks loose or they start doing just anything to get your attention. It's something that they're trying to keep you away from, from and it's evidence of this. It's like you've seen proof of this already and this is just confirmation that somebody is just not wrapped too tight and you need to be careful because you're being protected right now, but this is witchcraft that they're doing. And I feel like they're getting readings on you. We definitely going to break this down and see what's happening here. Is something having to do with a new bull too? Or is somebody, somebody new that they're trying to break you up from or keep you away from, or they don't want you to see other people or have new friends or something like that. This is crazy. This is, this is off. Oh my God. A fresh start. So moving, buying a house, selling a house, new city, state, career change, left a toxic relationship. So this could be you guys, or this is this person. Maybe this person is moving. Maybe this person has had a career change. Something, something having to do with you. Maybe you're in the way of that. It's something here about that. And it's evidence that this person is effed up in the head. It's evidence that this person is a backstabber. And I don't know why, if you know this person is a backstabber, you don't think that they're doing it to you. Well, they are. And they're willing to do whatever. Like, it's like cycles, triggers, lessons, round and around. It's like you're learning a lesson about how not to trust people or who not to trust or learning a lesson to use your intuition. It's something like that. Let's get, let's get the tarot because I cannot. Like, this a mess. And I, I really want to know, like, what's going on here. What is happening here for Virgo? What is this? What's going on here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods. What's going on for Virgo? Let's see what's going on. All right. Show me first. What's these tarot readings? Getting readings. Who is getting readings? What is this? Who is getting readings or doing readings on Virgo? With the Four of Cups. It's somebody who's afraid of a missed opportunity. Somebody who's afraid of a missed opportunity or they're doing some type of spell work to block an opportunity for somebody. Like they're trying to keep you away from something. This could be somebody who it's an offer here. And maybe they're trying like, and this is an offer. This is 
something from the divine. This is something that's divine being offered to you. And maybe this person wants to keep you distracted because this card is talking about beware of distractions. So this person is doing anything to distract you from something that could really help you, something that is really for you. And it's like you're falling for the distraction because here you are right here, distracted. So somebody is like trying to keep you distracted, whatever this is, like... Oh, I've never had a reading like this for you before. This is so strange and bizarre. Queen of Swords. It's a need for you to stand your ground. Or this is somebody who's in this Queen of Swords energy that's kind of cutthroat and really doesn't seem like they're concerned with the feelings of others. Um, this is somebody who could be very direct. Somebody who is trying to stand their ground and show that they know their worth. Um, this could be somebody who is welcoming but only to a certain extent because as soon as you don't do what they want or it doesn't serve them they cut you out with no questions asked um so this is somebody that people could see as cold possibly this could be a gemini libra aquarius so it doesn't have to be this could just be somebody who went through a lot somebody who went through a lot of different situations or a lot of heartache and pain in their life and so now they're standing their ground This could be somebody who's obsessed with money. Somebody, this is what I'm saying. Somebody who would do this, literally money right there. Somebody that's doing something strange for some change or they used to be a prostitute or they prostitute and now like, or they just too revealing. I don't know what this is, but it's something having to do with this naked lady. What the hell? Virgo, what is going on? Okay, but this is somebody who's obsessed with money and doesn't really care about other people's feelings. Like, and this is somebody who knows how to use their words to get what they want. The Jezebel is a spirit, an energy of manipulation, sexual energy, trying to pique somebody's arousal. Somebody could be trying to distract you with sex or nudity, whatever this is. But it's like you shine the light on that. It's like your intuition got triggered. Like, it's you saw this. Whatever this is that you saw, it made you think about it. Whatever this is that you observed, it made you say, like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> you think somebody is nuts. And I don't know, I don't know what this is like, but you see this shining the light and you feel like this person trying to trap you or somebody got the indicator that this person is trying to trap me or it's a setup. That Literally, that was the first thing that I got before I even saw any of your cards. I, I was like, it's a setup. And I'm like, what's a setup? Like, why do I have that, you know, idea or that thought in my head? What's a setup? This is a setup. Whatever this is that this person is doing to keep you distracted is right here. All right. So, all right. So what's the evidence? What's the evidence? Oh. So we got the chariot and the chariot in reverse is here. So no forward movement. Somebody doesn't want any forward movement. They're trying to stop you from moving on. It's evidence that they're trying to stop you from moving on. It could even be evidence that they do readings on you or they're doing readings on you or this reading is evidence. Somebody had some very scattered energy with the Knight of Wands. They could be trying to evoke this Knight of Wands energy in the males or whoever this person is. This could even be your partner that they're trying to turn on or seduce. It's like some type of seduction trying to enhance some type of sexual energy. Doing something for sex or something sexual, something strange or some change so somebody won't go away. It's like so somebody won't go away. Somebody cannot have a car or what the hell is this? Or it's like somebody doesn't want you to go away. They don't want you to have scattered energy. Somebody wants you all to themselves. Or they want you to get away from their person. They don't want you and a certain person to move forward. Something about money, once again. Um, what what the heck? Show me this um Jezebel energy. What's this Jezebel energy about? Yeah, this is somebody who is they don't want you to go away. It's like they want you to leave everything else behind and focus on them, wait on them, focus your intentions on them. They Somebody wants you to wait until they come. Like leave whatever else behind and only focus on them. Um, But they're stopping a blessing for you. 
Like whatever it is that you're supposed to get, this person is a distraction. They're distracting you from that. It could be with bad news. It could be with their body. Whatever this manipulative energy is, they're distracting you. This person is a distraction. I don't know why I, I heard BS or like bull crap. Maybe they talk a bunch of bull crap. I don't know. It's like they try to keep you going with a bunch of bull crap. Somebody is a great storyteller. This is somebody who puts their self over others. They think they're better than others, including you. All right. And I feel like somebody is deceived or being deceived big time with this. Someone is hexing a spell. There's negativity. This person can be super negative, but the, they are crafty with it to make you see it as a positive, whatever it is. You could be like, oh, they're not that bad. They're, they're this and they're that. And really, they're bad news. And you're being protected because why would you need to be protected? And look, drama. So this could be something that this person brings every time you turn around. It's always some drama. Always something about something happening. This could be somebody that always call you with bad news. And that's witchcraft too. Pouring into you, draining your energy or making you feel worried, sad, bad, lost. And when you feel this energy... It goes right back to them and they feel built up, confident, above all or whatever. It's something here. Like, y'all need to protect yourself, right? Honestly. Um, but it's, let's see. Let's just look. Show me the witchcraft. What is going on here with the witchcraft? What type of witchcraft? What's happening? A love spell or some type of witchcraft to make you connected to them. Something to make you stay. I told you something to make you stay with them look and it's done behind your back secretly like you don't know they're doing spell work to make you connected to them to make you stay with them and it's like they're getting away with it but this person is somebody who leaves proof like you can kind of tell that something's not right with this person but this is your confirmation all right if you were thinking about this and any of this resonates then you need to watch out all right they want you to make a decision to come toward them with the two of wands. It's, it could be a decision between two. And it's like this person will do anything to make you choose them. It's like they had to do something. They could have been losing you or losing your loyalty or losing your love or something like that. This person is doing whatever it takes to make you think that you belong with them. So be careful. God gave me this message for a reason. Honestly. Show me, look at this backstabbing. All for your emotions. Somebody could be draining your energy for this emo emotional fulfillment. Backstabbing, cheating, deception, and mind games just to have you with them so they can drain your energy. You, They're making you feel like it's, it's a happy place or it's positive or this is something that is going to fulfill you when really it's something that empties your cups. That's it. It's not fulfilling. It's, you're not growing from it. It's like something that's not helpful to you. It just seems that way. Why is this backstabbing here? Show me more about the backstabbing. Your angels are here trying to create balance because it's a very much one-sided relationship. I feel like this person leaves you confused or leaves you empty, leaves you sad or whatever the case may be. Leaves wounds open, maybe opening wounds from the past or leaves you triggered. Somebody, their ego is big. It's like they want you to live their life or they want you to take their pain. It's like they're not going to be the only ones feeling this pain. You're going to feel it too. They're like, no, you're not going nowhere. Look at this. They're, they're doing this so you can stay. And the whole time, they're a distraction. This person is messed up in the head. Whole time, you're thinking everything is good and no. <sighs> Look, all I can do is show you what I got, y'all, because I feel a little bit of resistance. And I, listen, all I can do is show you what I have. We're going to do something about you and your person after this. That's going to be the next part or part two or whatever, but this is definitely happening. This person is doing this because they want you to give them more. They want you to give all of your love, time, attention, or whatever to them. This could even be an ex or somebody in your life that you care for. Or that you think cares about you. But it's somebody who's draining you from your for your money. They want all your money. Or they want your energy. They want your blessings. 
It's like they want you to leave some particular person out in the cold. I told you, it's like they're willing to do anything to separate you from your person, your divine calling or what you're supposed to have in order for you to feel good and thrive. They're trying to separate you from that. It's this person is so egotistical. It's like if I don't feed you, you don't get fed. Whoever this is, this could be anybody for you guys. Y'all tell me who it is, but... It's like my way or the highway. And this person, look at this face on this card again. Somebody that covers up who they really are. Somebody who is wearing this makeup and or whatever. Or it's like they're deceptive. It's crazy. Somebody's nuts, okay? But y'all be the judge and you let me know in the comments like what this is. But whatever this is, you need to beware because whatever this is, this person's creating all kinds of distractions from you getting what you really need. Um, and with the four of cups and this blessing from God, it's like they're keeping you distracted and they could keep doing things or keep coming back or keep calling you with problem after problem, thing after thing, making you worry, making you stressed or whatever the case may be. And it's making you miss this opportunity. time for you to stay in your ground you really need to stay in your ground here with the seven of wands and this person can make you feel like you need to fight off the competition or they're trying to fight off the competition or something like that because with this six of wands it's a victory and somebody is fighting somebody else from not getting a victory it's like they don't want you to win they don't want you to succeed unless they succeed or they don't want your person to win it's something like that Yeah, emotional fulfillment. Like this person, you fill their cups up. They want their cups overflowing. This is something that can make you sad. Like this is a spell to keep you stuck. I'm telling you, like whatever this is, this is witchcraft to keep you stuck. This person could want you sad. This is an overflow of emotions. Like this person could make you extra emotional with what they tell you or the stories that they tell you or whatever this is, y'all. What the hell is this? Like, whatever this is, it's just, it's a hot mess, honestly. And this person is karmic. Look at this. With the three of cups in reverse, it's like somebody they don't want you to reconcile with. And then you got the wheel of fortune in reverse, karmic. Justice in reverse, unfair treatment, or some type of unfair, unjust decision, and page of swords in reverse, spying. Like, this person is trash. I don't care who it is. Like, this person is a mess. Judgment. The divine sees everything, and they're going to get exactly what they need to get. Look, holding on to you, people from the past, or whatever the case may be, they're going to get a tower for everything that they're doing. Their life is going to fall apart for this. God is not to be mocked or played with, and somebody is about to learn. That's all I got to say for this reading. I'm closing this reading out. I'm annoyed with this. Like, this energy is horrible, and I don't know what's going on, Virgo, but you need to protect your energy, and I feel like this is something that's invited because I don't feel resistance. But you needed to know this. And I pray that this helps somebody. All right, y'all. I'm out.